So this is my surface plate. It's inked up. I've already had one of the plates on there already. This is a lab grade plate. It's the flattest that you can get. That's my ink. And you don't need very much. This is my ink roller, which came today, finally. And you just need like a little tiny bit. And then you just work it out. And you just keep working it and keep working it. And keep working it. You know, just like so. You only need a very thin layer. You don't need a whole lot. And then when you put your plate on there, you get the marking which shows you where your high spots are. So I'm going to need to scrape those high spots down and then put that plate back on the surface plate to see where the new high spots are. And I'm going to have to keep working on those high spots until I have a uniform average across the plate. This is the actual mold plate, one and two. This is going to made up like so. These are ground. They're precision ground. I don't need to do anything with those. This plate will be bolted to this plate, that plate to the other plate, so the mold machine will open and close. So it'll constantly be opening and then closing. So this face needs to sit flat and flush against that face so when the cavity, which is going to be machined in there, has material injected into it that it doesn't come leaking out because the mold plate isn't mating up properly. That's why I have to have this flat. Now there's a little bit of tolerance built into the machine, but that doesn't mean that I can just let this go. I've got to get this as precise as possible so that what usable tolerance is designed in the machine will work properly. So that's pretty much where we're at. I only have to do this to one side because this is going to bolt to this and then that's going to bolt to the other. So only one side of each plate has to be machined. The back side of this plate it's never going to have anything on it. So that's pretty much where we're at. And I do have a scraper handle on order, it's just not here yet.